Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video explaining what density altitude is and why we calculate it. Um, I know that density altitude can sometimes be a hard concept to get your head around, so hopefully this um, can help a little. So firstly, just the definition. Density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperatures. And just to rewind a little, um, we need to make sure we know what pressure altitude is. So pressure altitude is the altitude that you'll read on your altimeter with standard pressure 1013 hectopascals or 29.92 inches of mercury set. And this is a theoretical altitude above a datum based on ISIS standard temperatures. Um, we know that the ISIS standard temperatures uh, beginning at mean sea level is 15 degrees and decreasing by 2 degrees per 1000 feet that you climb. So we would have 1000 feet would be 13 degrees and so on. And this is important uh, to calculate as most of the time when we are flying, it's very rare that we're going to be flying at standard temperatures. Um, and this is why we need to make a correction for these non-standard temperatures in order to get a better idea and understanding of the performance our aircraft is going to have. So uh, this is critical when you're operating out of high elevation airfields, the normally aspirated piston engine aircraft you've maybe got a short runway and you need to know whether you're going to have the performance to be able to take off or not um, it's not as uh, noticeable if you're a mean sea level airport and you have thousands of feet of runway to burn but i'm sure for anyone that has flown a cessna 172 or a 152 or similar aircraft if you've flown on a hotter day, maybe a really hot day in summer, you'll notice that your ground roll and your takeoff distance is longer than it would normally be. And this is due to uh, the uh, density altitude increasing and uh, the air density, which we'll explain uh, just in a minute. Another way to think of density altitude is it's the altitude that the aircraft believes it's operating at. It's the altitude it thinks and it's the performance that the aircraft's going to give you that it thinks it's at that altitude. Um, to explain this a bit better and to add a bit more context, we'll just go into explain air density. So in cold air, we're going to have more dense air, which is going to give us more performance. Warm air, less dense air, gives us less performance. So to explain this, I'm just drawing a simple diagram. I'll try and explain it. Imagine uh, we go out to a, a particular airfield at mean sea level and we were to take a slice out of the air, take a chunk of air and we're to analyse the air molecules in it and say this is what it would look like on standard temperature day, mean sea level, 15 degrees, would have normal distribution of our air molecules. Now, if we took the same chunk of air but it's a lot colder this time, maybe 10 degrees colder than ISA, and we analyze that same amount of air, we're gonna have a lot more molecules now. They're compressed um, in closer together, and there's a lot more of them in the same amount of air. Now, what this means is that the engine is gonna get receive more air molecules now, and the engine can produce or have better performance. On the flip side, we go out the same chunk of air, we analyze the molecules in it, and on this particular day it's maybe 10 degrees warmer than our standard day. Now we can see that the molecules are very spread out, they've expanded away from each other and there's now a lot less of them in the same volume of air. So for every chunk of air that the engine takes in it's not receiving as many air molecules and the performance from the engine is going to be decreased. So uh, we know with altitude increase the air density decreases and this is a similar effect so when it's warmer uh, the air is becoming less dense and the aircraft is going to believe that it's flying at a higher altitude it's going to perform as if it's at a higher altitude and when it's colder the air is more dense and the aircraft is going to perform as if it's at a lower altitude because the air is more dense and the aircraft has or the engine has better performance so you can see how this would be very applicable um, you know flying out of high elevation airports and 
perhaps on a warmer day, maybe the normal standard um, elevation airport 6,000 feet, but on this particular day it's maybe 15 degrees above um, ISO standard temperature. So you'd really have to calculate your density altitude to see whether you could actually take off then because that's going to have a significant increase in our density altitude and it's going to really affect the performance of our aircraft.